Hi guys, VST here, Venus Peace Tech. And before I start today's video, I'm gonna clean my review desk to make sure, guys, that you're gonna get the best quality, like always. And now, let's proceed to the video. So guys, I'm now back with the OnePlus 8 Pro. And I did already some videos like this for the OnePlus 7 Pro, which was um, very well received. So I decided to help you guys master the Oxygen OS we've been using on our phones. Of course, this is gonna be oriented for the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro, right? So if you have the OnePlus 8 series, I think you can get the full benefit, but if you get the OnePlus 7 and the 7 series, yeah, just make sure you look. Some things, guys, are gonna be equally valid for you. But guys, we know that OnePlus is really focusing on to making the system a little bit more not cluttered and lightweight, and Oxygen OS is, I think, de facto the standard, one of the best standards for so-called skins. Now, I hate to call the Oxygen OS or the MIUI being just a skin, because I think they're pretty much more just a skin over the standard, you know, washed over Android, right? OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro really are no different. With the latest version now for the Oxygen OS, there are a lot of new options that are built and of course some if not most are coming from Android 10 But there are things that I want to show you guys So I'm gonna do now this series of videos when I'm gonna focus on showing you the best tips and tricks for the OnePlus 8 Pro And I think this is gonna be worth So please make sure you're watching the full video guys And of course the first thing a person sees when you know you touches the phone or the person touches the phone is the display so I'm gonna be starting now with the display tips, all right? So when we just do like this and we go into settings, I'll directly go and I'll cover the whole display section. And why the display? Because you know, OnePlus really has put one of the best displays on the market in this phone, which is a flagship phone. And I know guys, before you, know, before you start you know, burning me and roasting me, I know the phone has a lot of issues. In fact, I know a person that already sent his phone for a replacement due to green tint, and now he got a replacement and he's probably gonna send it again. So that's true, right? We have people that are sending multiple times the phone back and back to OnePlus because they're not happy with the display. The display really has a lot of issues. I honestly think that's not acceptable, but I think that is a conversation for a whole different story in a video. So right now I'm just gonna focus on the display tip. I got lucky and my phone works for now, so every day I wake up, I just cross my fingers. Display, one of the best thing here in the phone, and if you have been watching Android Police or Authority, I'm not even sure anymore, they put really the award for the best display for the mid-2020 year to the OnePlus 8 Pro. Display is really very good. I would just say in code if it works. <laughs> All right, but OnePlus really put the best display here in this phone. We know it's actually the Samsung display, right? And I'm gonna show you guys some of the things you need to do and check the first time you get the phone and you really touch the phone. All right. So first thing, you know, first thing this display is really is famous for is the fact that it provides 120 hertz refresh rate. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just directly gonna go to the advanced, and then you can see where we refresh rate. So when you click this. I think the stock setting is, is 120 hertz. You can go to 60 hertz and then you're gonna get less smooth and probably a little bit bad than real life. But I'll say guys, don't do this. If you really have the money to buy the OnePlus 8 Pro, make sure you are maxing it out. So yeah, use the 120 hertz. And then the next thing we're gonna see is really the resolution, okay? One of the most important thing on the phone here as well, related to the display, is the fact that this phone has a QHD Plus display, all right? If you have the OnePlus 8, it's gonna be only FHD Plus, which is still good enough, man. And I, Say this because I own the OnePlus 8, right? But make sure that you go to the maximum QHD resolution, okay? You can find it into the very same settings in display in advanced, okay? And in that case, you'll be running the QHD using it on 120 Hertz, which I think is gonna be really the best experience you can get from the phone. Once you have set the resolution and the refresh rate, guys, you need to go to screen calibration. And this is also where part of the magic happens, okay? Screen calibration really allows you to choose if you wanna get like a more colorful screen or like a vivid screen screen or a little bit more subtle screen and a natural screen. So if you go here and you select the advanced tab, you're gonna get some more settings. And that's very important because from here you can choose the sRGB, which already it's like that, or the display P3. And you see every time I'm just doing this, you know, the display is becoming a little bit more colorful or duller. This really is dependent on your choice. Now guys, I am usually using the AMOLED white gamut because I wanna get rich colors. And even I know that sometimes they're a little bit oversaturated, you know, I think for me, that's really the best. Now, please make sure that you tell the best colors and settings for you. And by the way, when you select the AMOLED white gamut, you can also adjust the warm, right? I just go above like 40, 50%. This is pretty much the perfect for me. Something very, very important, guys, speaking about the screens, and you might've noticed that the OnePlus 8 Pro, unfortunately, doesn't have the full-fledged, full-screen bezel display from the 7 Pro. And of course, here we have a notch, 
right? But don't worry, right? Don't worry because here, if you press the front camera display area, you can apparently hide the notch. Now I'm going full for the notch, embracing the notch, but if you're not like me guys, you hate it, you just probably click here, hide the front camera, and then boom, an artificial bezel is gonna be displayed. For me, that's a quite huge bezel, and you're losing a lot of the screen here, the bottom part, so I personally am not a fan of this. That's why I embrace the notch. Yeah, I will see, but then I gain this space here, right? But you can apparently change this from the front camera display. Right, now I'm gonna go some steps back. We are now back at the official display menu, and there are some settings that you can only find on the OnePlus 8 Pro and not on the OnePlus 8. One of the settings is the cell code comfort tone. Now, you might have seen that I switched this on by just doing like this, you know, nothing really happens because right now I'm in a very bright environment, but these settings actually enable the feature whereby the phone can use the information that it gets from the ambient light sensors to adjust the color temperature of the display and then it will closely match the light temperature wherever you are so this means that you if you're in a more like dim room and you have the comfort settings on then the display is going to be adjusted and i think it's really very nice and so one of the things one of the perks you get when you're buying the 8 pro phone All right now we're going to go a little bit down below guys and we have something called here video enhancements engine right first thing is called vibrant color effect pro now honestly i I am using this, so I switch this to on. When you switch this off, apparently, I would say that in the theory, it might look very fancy, but in the practice, you know, I don't really see huge differences. This enhancement dynamically optimizes video colors and contrast to make it even more vivid. The fact that you're using the 120 Hertz and the QHD Plus only just makes one thing sure. Make sure you also put the Vibrant Color Effect Pro. The other option, I'm going step back, the other option below the Vibrant Color Effect is the motion graphic smoothing, all right? And this actually is quite interesting because this is again only available on the 8 Pro series. If you're using a high refresh rate, right, there is always this risk that the content you're seeing on the screen is not really matched with the smoothness of the display. And then you're gonna get this kind of like shaky part, especially when you're watching videos that are not 60 FPS. Now my test, and I'm gonna actually be putting a video only focusing about testing the motion graphic smoothing, my test, says that if you're using it 60 FPS, then it's quite okay. But if you're watching some content that is shot on 30 FPS as well on YouTube or your own videos, you might get the shakiness. Now, when you enable the motion graphic smoothing, a special technology is gonna be used, right? And this is going to kind of reduce the motion blur because it's gonna introduce some artificial frames, all right? And this is valid for Gary, for the YouTube, for the Netflix. And of course, there are some more supported apps. You can just check when you hit the link here, you're gonna go on the OnePlus site where the motion graphic smoothing is explained right so it's very important that you understand which applications are supported you might have seen this in the tv guys most of the modern tvs have an option that does exactly the same and yeah it results sometimes in the soap opera effect which people don't really like me as well so in case you're not you know fan of this you can remove this but okay if you want to make sure that you test the latest technology then just put it there okay we're gonna go back now to the settings i'm gonna go one step back and what do we have here then we have scenes and in the scenes we have night mode and then we have the reading mode. If you click on the night mode, you can see here there are several options. This actually is a, not a new feature, it's actually no feature, but this is very, very useful one. That's really the one and only thing to use to fight against the blue color that is emitted at night. So the night mode cuts out the blue light from the screen and it helps you eyes relax. Now I have some friends that are using this and they still problems with their eyes. So it's not really applicable to 100% of the people on the globe, but it should work for the most of the people. And by the way, I do recommend here to not turn it off manually and off. So just turn it off like this and just select here turn on automatically and automatically enabled from sunset to sunrise, which pretty much means that the phone will check based on the time zones where you are. And then when the sun is away, boom, you're gonna get the night mode. And by the way, just to let you know here, you can also adjust the color temperature, right? Going from the warmest to the coolest one. And then you can also adjust the lightness. Now, a lot of people are complaining from the OnePlus 8 Pro that with the latest updates, the brightness even on the very low settings is very bright now. I don't think that's really the case. All right, and besides the night mode, guys, there is something called reading mode. Reading mode is very important. When you click the reading mode, you apparently can enhance the way you just read words. So mono effects makes you more immersed in words. Chromatic effects offers you a more comfortable color reading experience. Now you see what happens is when I turn the chromatic mode, you're gonna see how now it's gonna get a little bit blurry and how the color's gonna go away. And even when I check and when I turn on the mono effect, you're gonna see what happens there. So let me just turn the mono effect. It will get directly black and white. 
now for people that want to enjoy like a look more close to the electronic ink like on a kindle i think that is for you guys okay not so many options to go so then we have changing the phone side okay phone side usually is the default so i leave it to the default to make sure that you change the font to the one pass slate font this is really the better font all right what do we have here next we have something here called the ambient display and when we go inside we're gonna see that there are a lot of options first option is pick up your phone to show and let me just show you what this is very very important and helpful when you just pick up the phone okay boom display is showed when the phone is powered off double tap display shown again and actually those are the two first options so pick up your phone to show and also tap the screen to show and then of course you can choose what level of information you want to have on the screen do you want to have contextual info like you know which you're playing from spotify you know or something from your calendar you can even display a message like okay this is you know valence phone vst whatever or the new notification so when you get a new notification you know you're going to get the horizon light which i'm going to show right now but also the notification can be displayed now what is horizon light when you go there and apparently you have several options every time you get a new notification the phone is going to blink like this and i can say this is very cool apparently the practical use of it in the daylight i'm not able to see this quite well but at night it works quite good okay now we're gonna go back and we're gonna see what is still left for us to be seen we have the status bar so when you click on the status bar you can apparently here just choose a style of the battery right now i'm using the battery bar but you can go for a circle and you can go also to completely hide it and then you can also show the percentage this is very very important for me now i don't want to have a battery indicator i just want to have exact information how many percentage you have you can also then display the network speed so when you're downloading something you're going to get the network speed in the status bar and of course you have the time so you can choose minutes and minutes and seconds and hours and etc and then you have the icon manager right so also what icons to be displayed there Okay, going back, auto rotate screen. I think that's very self-explanatory. You can put your phone like this, it will auto rotate, right? We have display scaling. Display scaling is important, guys. If you have problems with seeing, you know, small letters, then maybe you wanna go and you wanna scale your display. So this is not changing the phone, but rather like scaling the whole display. Screen saver, you know, I never use a screen saver right now. You know, it's currently the clock and I actually, I never change the screen saver. Apparently you can just choose analog or digital style clock for me that's pretty much the same now i don't use it anymore with that said i just think that we managed to cover almost everything but one step was missing and this is the adaptive brightness now i am using the adaptive brightness a lot of people do recommend for you to set it manually but i want to get use of all the sensors so all the time i'm working with the phone even when i'm shooting the video i'm doing this with the adaptive brightness on and last but not least we have here the sleep so this is the amount of time needed for the phone to go back to sleep now usually I get to 30 seconds now when I'm doing videos I get to two minutes or more usually 30 seconds is just enough if you're reading a book probably might want to go to one minute all right I think this has been guys the display next time on my next video I'm going to continue with some customizations and whole screen so we have a lot of settings here but this is going to be a whole other video I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and if that's the case guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions where you think I can help you just put your questions down below in the comments and with that said VST over and bye